everyone, this video is going to show you how to use some cool features in Canva to easily create a Google Slides activity. First, because we're educators, Canva offers a K-12 education free license. So make sure you go to the Canva for Education. When you register now, it's going to ask you to verify that you're a teacher. But you can log in with Google. So since I've already registered and signed up, I'm going to go ahead and log in and log in with my Google account. So Canva offers all kinds of stuff, all kinds of templates, anything that you think you might want. And so it even gives you some SEL templates, infographics, presentations, worksheets, science worksheets, flashcards. I really like these because you can, they're the same size as a Google form header. So you can customize Google form headers with these. Just a ton of stuff that you have available in here. But one specific activity I want to show today is how to quickly make an interactive activity in slides. So I'm starting in Canva. Why you ask? Because Canva has some amazing templates. So let's say I want wanted to do some kind of graphic organizer. I just type graphic organizer into the search and all kinds come up. As you can see, there's over a thousand templates here. So let's just say I'm having my kids write something and I really want to focus in on each individual paragraph. So I'm going to click this one and it says my paragraph outline. And so it really narrows down the writing process for that specific paragraph. If I want, I can click in here and I can change colors. So here's the color here. So if I don't like that color, I can always change it if I want to. But let's say I liked everything the way it was. I changed any of the text up here I wanted to, but I like everything as is once you make your changes. All you need to do is come to download, keep it as PNG, and just say download. Once it downloads, I come back to my Google Slides, and I do background image, choose image, and just drag right from here. And so now I have a really nice, what I would call fancy slides presentation for my students to work in now. Another option, if you don't want to do the background image, because sometimes I feel like some of the writing comes out blurry with images, but I think it really just depends. You can always come in here, do slide, edit master. I like to create an extra blank layout. I'll rename this organizer say OK. And then all I have to do is just drag this onto here and then I can make it fit the whole page. And then once I X out, come over here and I just grab it from my layouts. And so in both instances, everything's locked in place, whether I use the master slide or I do set as background image. So I went ahead and added a few more just to show you some examples from Canva that you can grab and add into your slides for your students to start writing on. So here's the original one that I showed you how to get into slides. And then here's some more examples. So this just saves you a little bit of time creating some of these organizers. And they look really nice and they're visually appealing. And then when students come in here, since these are all locked in here, they'll just have to grab a text box and type over top or you can add the text box ahead of time before sharing with students. I hope you like this way to kind of create some engaging interactive activities in Google Slides for your students.